Okay, so for the last one we made our wingtip, which was a fun, fairly quick uh, put together part. Um, now we're going to put the uh, control surfaces in, so the aileron and there's the outboard flaps. Um, so first off, I'm going to save this part because uh, I didn't. We'll call this left wing tip. And um, so first thing we do is we come into our drawing here. And since it's our left wing tip, um, I've actually already got a sketch here, but I'm going to delete them. Oops, not all of them though. Okay, so sketch on the top plane, and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to trace out the uh, the outlines here. So go like that, and down to there, out to here, and then back up. And, um, oops, I'll uh, add a reference line that I winked it. Oops, I guess I didn't make that horizontal. So, 905 there. There. That dimension and that dimension is all we need to make our aileron. Come into our wing tip. Um, we need to make a another plane to draw on because. Well, actually, yeah. Let's just go ahead and do it. We don't need to for this aileron, but we will need to for the flaps, so might as well do it. We'll just put it like uh, 500 millimeters. Okay, so we got our plane here, and uh, let's put a sketch on it. And our aileron is going to look something. like this. And uh, I'll just go ahead and add the dimensions in. That dimension is 905. And then this dimension is 1633 and then our two horizontal dimensions are 344 and 433 433 344 Okay, so um, there's our aileron, exit the sketch, select the sketch, and let's put a uh, extrude all the way through it. So I guess we just do it through the wall to be safe. And exit the sketch, and there is our aileron slot. And uh, we'll make the aileron here in a second. But first, let's put the, uh, the flap part in. So we come in. I'm thinking the flaps continue along this line all the way to our root tip, root of the wingtip. Then this dashed line I think is the underbelly part of it. 
Make sure that is collinear. And uh, so add some dimensions here. Okay. So we'll come back on to our plane that we drew our other sketch on. Sketch that. And we will draw some lines. Okay, and looks like three twenty five and four twenty three. Okay, so um, that's four, no, three twenty-four and and three forty-four, three. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Um, four twenty-three. So four twenty-three. And looked like three forty four. That looks right to me. So <clears throat> now the trick here is we're going to make an extruded cut, and um, we want it to match the shape, and the shape is a very complex shape it's not planar or anything so we go uh, we're going to offset it from the surface then select the surface uh, translate the surface I don't know why it does that but sometimes it helps it so let's try like five maybe 15 millimeters that seems pretty good and uh, click OK. And now we have a perfectly offset 15 millimeter slice. So that completes one wing tip shape wise. Um, but we need to make the actual, um, the actual, you know, solid control surfaces to fit in here. And you may. be wondering why or you know how you're gonna get a perfect fit and it's really really simple actually so I'm gonna save that as left wing tip save as save as a uh, copy and open down here and we're gonna name this as left aileron <clears throat> so now we have left aileron open it's an exact copy of um, the wing tip but now we're going to come into the cut we made that cut out our aileron and you're going to click this flip side to cut and what that does is it cuts everything besides the shape and we are left with an exact uh, you know, copy of what our cut was and um, then you'll see this, this down here failed because uh, you know, now we don't have any shape to cut it on, so we can just delete it because it doesn't really matter. And then um, I put, just for my own uh, use, I'm going to put a, a, a <clears throat> 45 degree cut down here so that we have something to pivot on. And that's just how I make my ailerons, and I use like uh, CA hinges but you may have something different in which case you know you can just tell me so I do a 3D sketch because I'm going to do a swept cut so a 3D sketch for our uh, guide and we're going to put a plane on this point and perpendicular or normal to the line let's go 
normal two. And then we're going to sketch on that. Just make a basic shape. And 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Exit that, and now we do a swept cut with that as our profile, and this what's the deal? There we go, and check OK on that, and there is our aileron with a nice pivot point and all that. So save that as our left aileron and then let's go back to our wingtip and make another copy of it. Save as copy and open left outboard flap. So now we have left outboard flap open and now we edit this cut and do a uh, flip side to cut. And there we go. We're left with a uh, panel that you can make like a core out of foam and lay it up with fiberglass or carbon fiber or something. And it's just a nice uh, you know, core shape. Um, we don't need to do anything to this, so just save that as outboard flap. Um, and now that we have that all done, we can come in here and uh, do another save as, copy and open, make it a right wing tip. We're just going to mirror it over. So we have our right, <coughs> right wing tip. Going to mirror this plane, and we're going to do bodies to mirror because this is one solid body. Click a body. And then you want to deselect the merged solids. And what that does is it, it doesn't merge it into one part. It keeps it as two solid bodies, as you can see up here. We have two solid bodies, that and that. And we want to delete that body. Check yes. And now we have our right wingtip, which is an exact copy. So save that. And then. Um, We'll just come into our left aileron, do the same thing. Save as, copy, right aileron, and um, mirror it. Good old mirror pattern, mirror. We can really mirror across the plane, but we'll go ahead and do this one. Body, and Come up. Oops, I forgot to deselect that merge. Come into our solid bodies and delete. And save. And then um, one more is our left outboard flap. We'll save that as right outboard flap. Two spaces, I guess. Uh, and then we'll mirror it. Deselect the solids. Check. Solid bodies. Delete. Save. Okay, so <clears throat> looking down here, we have all of our ailerons and our flaps for our wingtips. Um, next, I think I'm going to make the engine nozzle, or nasal, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and then we're going to put the landing gear and the flaps onto the center, and then we're going to assemble it all into one part, or one assembly.